Hello, friends and family. Hope you all are doing well. Hope you're blessed. Pray that all is well with you. You know, lately, uh, I've been thinking a lot about things that are taking place around us. There's a lot happening, a lot of uh, Bible prophecy being fulfilled. But one thing that's really been upon my heart lately is the fact that, and I don't think this needs any explanation at all. You all see it. But we live in a very offended generation. We live in a generation where people are offended by the most unoffensive things possible. Literally, the cartoons that I watched as a kid, the things that I grew up with, the toys that I played with, are now being labeled as hateful, as oppressive, or as just offensive by any means. And it's interesting to see how easily people are being offended these days. Everything seems to be offensive to somebody. Somebody may even be offended by this video. And I just want to take the time to say right now, I never go out of my way to offend anybody. I never purposely try to offend anybody. Sometimes we as preachers, we as Bible teachers, we, we say things that may be taken as disrespectful. It may be taken as uh, hurtful or as offensive to some. But we never mean to offend anyone. We never needlessly want to offend anyone. But we have to admit that as we look throughout history, right now in this generation, I've never seen a people more offended at needless things, more offended at things that are not even offensive than today. But the main question we need to ask ourselves is why are people so easily offended? People 50 years ago were not offended by the things that they're offended at today. And we have to ask the question, what is causing this society, what is causing this generation to become so easily offended? I believe the Bible gives us a clear answer on that. We're going to look at a, a verse in the book of Psalms. We're looking at Psalms 119. Psalms 119. And it's verse 165. Psalm 119, 165. It says, Great peace have they which love thy law. Great peace have they that love God's law. And nothing, how much? Nothing shall offend them. Friends, when we have a love for God, when we have a love for his law, it doesn't matter even if people are trying to offend us, we will not be offended. But notice today, people are being offended at things when people aren't even trying to offend them. The most non-offensive things are becoming offensive to people. And as the Bible says, great peace have they that love thy law and nothing shall offend them. As we see a society that's becoming more and more offended, what we realize is that we're living in a society that's becoming more and more lawless. Because those who love the law, nothing shall offend them. So when people are automatically becoming offended, we have to say, well, it's obviously because there's a disconnect between us and God. I want to turn to Matthew chapter 24. And most of us will be familiar with this verse if we've studied the Bible, if we've uh, looked at Bible prophecy in any way. Matthew 24 is often spoken of in context with end time events. And in Matthew chapter 24, beginning in verse 12, it says, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall grow cold. Because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall grow cold. That word iniquity simply means lawlessness. Because lawlessness shall abound in the last days, the love of many shall grow cold. There seems to be a constant hatred. Everything's being labeled as hate speech, but those who are labeling things as hate speech tend to be the ones showing the most hate. And it simply says here, because lawlessness, because God's law is being disregarded, many are becoming offended and are expressing this hatred and this anger towards one another. And the truth is, friends, if we want that love, if we want that peace back in our hearts, great peace have they that love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. Friends, if anyone had an opportunity, if anyone had a right to be offended, God has a right to be offended because of this simple fact that it is his law that is being desecrated. It is his law that is being trodden down under our feet on a daily basis. It is his son that we crucify on a daily basis because of sin. And if we don't want to experience the wrath of an offended God, we need to learn to love his law and be at peace. And as a result, we too will enjoy the fact that we no longer have to be offended about everything. 
Let this be a lesson to us as we see these things taking place. It's just another indication that God's law is being done away with, which is another sign that Jesus is soon to return to take us home. But he's not coming back for those who desecrate his law. He's not coming back for those who constantly crucify his son on a daily basis. He's coming back to those, for those who have taken advantage of the fact that his son has been crucified and will lay a hold of that blood that was shed on Calvary and gain victory over sin, gain victory over the things of this world. That's who he's coming back for. A church without spot, without wrinkle. A church that is not easily offended. A church that is not offended by every little thing that is said. So friends, with that being said, let us look diligently. Let us remain diligent. Study God's word. Have a defense. Let us fortify the mind. Because as we're told in great controversy, none but those who have fortified the minds with the truth of God's word will stand through the final crisis. May you continue to be blessed, friends. God bless you.